All right, y'all. We're going to be making one of the more popular tutorials from Tim Jim's DIY.com. And it's these rainbow pony bead keychains. And they're super nostalgic. They're awesome. They look good on everybody. So we're going to get started. You'll need pony beads. I love this leather cord. So it's super sturdy. You can use it for like any project. You'll need scissors, a ruler, and then these key rings. So you can get these anywhere, like craft stores. I posted a link in the uh, information and everything. So, okay, so first thing, I set these out for time's sake already in rainbow order. And then you're going to start out and cut your cord to 42 inches. So I rounded mine up to 45. I'm going to have some extra, at least 42 inches. Find your halfway point. So here's my half. This is my half. And you're going to secure it onto your key ring, okay? So pull that. And you're going to loop your strings through. Okay? Pull it snug. Got glue on me from another project. Okay. So first thing, you're going to take one of your strings. Put your first row of beads on there. So three beads per row. I did 15 rows for a good, for a good keychain. And 15 rows will be like five inches of rows. Okay, so put your three beads on here. Take your other string, the end of your other string, and see how this one's coming out this way? You're going to put this string in the opposite way. It might take a little bit of effort. But it'll go see all right so you got both your strings pull it so it's all the way up to the key ring pull it snug even it out all right nice and pretty we'll do the second row you can take either one of your string ends Put your next row of three beads on. Okay. Take the end of your other string. Bead it through or thread it through. All right. Okay. Pull your two strings until it meets the next row up there okay so now they're together do your next row and pull it tight and of course you don't have to use rainbow you can do any color you want to if you've got a favorite color if your bff has a favorite color whoever you're making it for all right next row one two three all right pull it snug very cool and you're gonna keep doing this it shouldn't take too long but there's no hurry either Lost a bead. One, two, three. 
this project is cool too because it looks like it took a lot of time and skill and effort and it really doesn't. I think we're like halfway there. There's seven rows. Them coffee jitters. It's looking beautiful. Y'all can make these longer or shorter if you want to. They don't have to be 15 rows of beads, but 15 rows is a nice length. Not too long and not too short, not too stubby. Okay, so this, this is where we'll tie it off. This is 15 rows. So take your two ends here, okay? Tie a double knot, not a double knot, whatever, a knot here. Sorry, my arm's shaking at the thing. Pull it close, okay? As close to the beads as you can. You want it to be pretty snug, pretty up close, okay? So there's my knot. You got these two nice tails down here. You can make those long as you want to. So I put two beads. One. Two on one tail. I think I want it to be like an inch and a half long. Okay. Tie a knot so your bead don't fall off. Like right there's good. Right there. There's one. Okay, let's do the other one. Try to make the tails about the same length. Okay. Alright. Oh, well they're not... They're not the best. They're not close. They're kind of close. Okay, cut it off close. There you have it. Look at that pretty, pretty keychain. Oh, they're cute. All right. Make as many as you want. Make them for your friends. Make them all the time. All of the stuff, all of the stuff that I used um, is in the description, all the links for the products. So rainbow pony beads, the leather cords, there's the key rings in there, everything you need. All right, see you later.